When you are going to come back? Last time it took you so much. You said while tying his tie, he looked at you and pressed his lips in a thin line. After admiring you for some minute, he answered, "This time I will be really quick. There is not much work this time, just a small mission." Your hand stopped as soon as he said mission. Don't know how many times he tried to hide things from you. Don't know how much times he made mind not to tell you everything, but his heart never responds with his mind, and he end up telling you everything. You looked up at him, and both of your eyes meet. You quickly looked away. You fixed his collar. Oh, so this deal is actually a mission. Yes, but this time it will be safe. I mean, not such a big one. Just some. I hope you understand. It's small thing only. You nodded and grabbed his coat from the bed. You made him wear that. Doctor is discharging mom for few days. She is going to live here with us. Don't get worried and focus on your work. I will take care of her until you will be back. I will ask Sia to help you. No. You quickly said making him look at you confused. You fix your hair and shook your head. Is there something? It's okay if you are not okay with her then I will talk to Sam. You again shook your head. It's just one of your insecurity. I I will do that alone. I will take care of her so well. You can believe me. Why am I believe you? But you can't keep on doing everything by your own. What if you will get sick or what if something happen to you? You need help. He said with a concerned voice. You looked down and shook your head. I will ask you by myself when I need your help or I will ask them if I got any difficulty. But please, I don't want anyone. I mean He cupped your cheeks and made you look up at him. His eyes shows a reflection of faith and the pure belief in you. You just get lost in his eyes. You can't live like this forever. Why and you need to open up with everyone. I'm trying. I just need some time. Everything is so new to me. I need a proper time. He nodded and softly placed a kiss on your forehead. Don't be sick. Try to be healthy as possible just for 2 days. You nodded. Suddenly door opened making you both look at the person who just opened the door without knocking. Jungkook's hand leave your cheeks and he walked to the closet. Your eyes followed him while Sam walked inside and bowed at you too. Boss, I think you should leave now. Everything is ready. Jungkook nodded. Your eyes meet Sam and then you again looked at Jungkook. Bring the mom from hospital today. She needs some fresh air of house. Don't worry sir I already talked to Dr Min and he said that she can get leave for a week. Thank you Nadi taking out his necessary things from the closet he looked at you. Sam don't let anyone come inside the mansion and keep on checking inside often. If she need anything take care of that. Don't worry boss I will take care of her. You just be safe on your mission. It's really Before he could say anything about the mission, Jungkook spoke in middle. I think I should leave now. You, he looked at you for a second while your finger were crossing to each other. Your heart was beating so fast without any reason. Taking a deep sigh, he walked out of the room with Sam. Take care of yourself and be safe. Jungkook stopped at the door and turned back at you. He smiled slightly. You too, and he left again, leaving you alone in this big mansion where you just hear your own voice. You walked to the window and saw him talking to the bodyguards. Your eyes stayed there, just admiring his actions. He was looking so serious. Outside the house, he changed as a different person. He never show you his that side when you are around. Nodding to his bodyguards, he said, "Inside the car." Your eyes travel all the way until those dozen of cars disappear from your eyes. You sign and walk inside. That's where you find yourself.
when he is not around all silent you both didn't talk much but staying around each other and those little talks become your noisy talk for you both silence speaks more than talks you also raised in a mafia family where you only see heartless people and crimes your parents never let you come out from your room they try to keep you away from the cruelty without knowing that they are pushing you even in the worst state you isolate yourself from the other people you never talk to anyone and always try to ignore others one day you get to know that your mother disappeared somewhere from where she never comes back you started to get sick every day your dad hired a maid for you to take care of you but nothing helps your condition started to get worse the lonely feelings make a house in your heart and you just shrink in the corner of it when your father feels like he can't able to take care of you the way he should when he feels that he is about to lose his daughter too then the only person come in his mind was jungkook jungkook stayed and mr min worked together a lot They used to be the best business partner of the mafia world but after his death the whole connection broke your dad can't able to bring that touch with Jungkook he knows him but not much Jungkook was not any less than you the silent mafia he don't talk much like you he loses a lot in his life and the only thing left to him is his gang and his mom who is even fighting with her dad Jungkook wants someone to take care of her but he can't believe anyone. He was not even strong enough to believe himself with his mom. But when your dad come with the proposal of your marriage with him, the moment he laid his eyes on you, the moment you took walks and kissed, that moment he bring his every veins to trust you. Somewhere in his heart he knows that he chose the right person and you turn out to be the best. You try to heal everyone when you are broken yourself, but he try to heal you because he knows that for every John Jungkook there is a Wyan who will take care of him, who will take him to the shore of the beach. Thank you so much. You really helped me a lot. She said while caressing her hair, "You take the small tub of hot water and put her feet in that." She looked so relaxed as she closed her eyes. You got up and fixed the blanket over her shoulder. It's not too cold winter right now, just a perfect mixture of cold breeze with a slightly hot nature. But as she is sick, she always feels cold, so you make sure she will be comfortable. You wait here I will bring something for you to eat. You was about to walk out but she grabbed your hand and made you sit on the bed. You work so hard. You don't have to be this protective towards me. I know Jungkook might tell you all this but don't listen to him every time. Sometimes he behave indifferently to his nature and get overprotective. It's all fine. But he makes my health a big issue. But he said that you need good care and rest. I'm getting that. The whole week you care for me better than Jungkook. You are exactly like Jungkook used to say, innocent and caring. He is so lucky to have you. You look down as your cheeks turn pink. He is not home yet. You shook your head slightly. Jungkook said it will only take him 2 days, but one week passed and he is not home yet. The thing is scaring you a little, but you try to stay positive as much as possible. A little fear everyone had, but you know that he will never break his promise. He said he will be back in 2 days. But it took him a week. Mrs. Jung signed as if she knows it that he always just like this. Why don't you stay some more days here? He might be on his way. He will be happy. I know. And even I want to stay some more days with you, with my daughter. 
बट इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल डॉक्टर गिव मी अ हॉलीडे फॉर ओनली अ वीक एंड जंक कम टू मेक मी ऑफ फंड सो डोंट वरी अबाउट हिम यू वॉन्ट टू ईट समथिंग आई विल बी क्विक शी स्माइल इवन आफ्टर यू वॉन्ट स्माइल मच और मे बी नेवर बट योर नेचर एंड द क्यूट वॉइस ऑलवेज मेक अदर स्माइल मे बी दैट्स अ रीजन विदाउट इवन ट्राइंग पीपल गेट सो कम्फर्टेबल Around you, your innocence and care make them more comfortable. You are even more caring and innocent than Jungkook used to tell me. You know that he is really a silent person, not like to talk m- much to others. All he wants is silence in his mouth and ears. But since the day you entered his life, I found him noisy. He never talk much, but when it's come to you, he never stop. It feels like he will talk all day about you if we allowed him. You are really changing him for good. He told me about your problem and to be honest, it's not even a problem. Not everyone is the same. Not everyone like to be noisy. The thing matter is happiness and for being happy, we don't need too many people, right? We can even find the same amount of happiness in one person, just like Jungkook find his happiness in you. Put your hand on your heart and ask yourself did you also feel the same for him do you also find your happiness in him you put your hand on your chest and think for some time you looked at mrs john and she smiled while you slightly shake your head i don't know i really she smiled and patted your head slightly You will everything is new for you now but one day you will get to know things on your own those emotions and happiness you will going to feel everything when the right time comes when you feel lots of butterfly in your stomach that time you will get to know that you are falling for someone who will keep you happy forever the one who made you smile is the one who make you feel this wonderful emotion and i am sure that the person is Jungkook She said kissing her head while you slightly try to smile but couldn't. It stopped halfway. I will bring you something to eat. She nodded and take out her feet from the water. You give her the towel and got up. She smiled and marrying her actions. Now she got to know why Jungkook started to be this happy. Why does he always smile whenever it's come to you? because you are really good for him the one who is making him smile and healing the little pain inside him now he had a reason to live and now he is a little less worried about being left alone he softly laid her to on the bed and covered her with the blanket wait here i will be really quick She nodded. You take the tub and walk out of the room. She smiled and slid her the weak body inside the blanket. Only one person can make a change in lots of life. Mrs. John is relieved now that there is someone to take care of her son after her. Now she can rest in peace with the hope of happiness for his child. I should thank Jungkook's papa. He really does great work by making good relation with Mr. Min. Or else we never know that he even had a daughter. a pretty one You were making dinner when you saw Sam walking upstairs but stopped when you called his name Looking upstairs for a second he walked to you and smiled slightly leaning to the counter he smiled the food and smile You need something I was going upstairs to check on Mrs John Chunko when he is going to come back He said it will take him 2 days only He nodded. Jungkook told him not to tell you anything about the mission, but since the day he left, you always ask him the same question, but he ignores you. I really don't know. He didn't even contact any of us, but you don't have to worry. He will be okay. After all, he is our leader and no one can harm him. I know, but still, mom is leaving tomorrow and even there are some worries. You said hesitating as his eyes were making you nervous. He knows your condition of yours. That's why Jungkook chose him to take care of you as he is the most trustworthy man of Jungkook. 
Don't worry about that. Boss often visit her to the hospital and she won't mind. His deal is more important this time. It's something well leave it. You give Mrs. John her medicine. She look healthy today. You nodded and focus on cooking while he was watching your hands doing their job. He take a piece of apple and put it in his mouth while you started to cut the veggies. I am making her the vegetable soup. It's okay for her health. Since doctor said her not to eat heavy food, I think the soup will help to fill requirements. He nodded and make his place on the chair while eating apple one by one. What you want to tell Jungkook? If you want something, then you can tell me. You think for a while, don't know how to tell him. He looked at him and took a deep breath. I needs to go to convenience store. It not safe. Just tell me what you want, and I will buy that for you. You shook your head and were about to say something, but the soup come out from the pan and spill all over the gas. You get panic and start to find something to hold the pot, but until Sam take it off from the gas and turn it off. Can't you be a little careful? What if you hurt yourself? You even know that the boss will kill me for that. You even know how much he cares for you. I will be dead meat today. Have any idea how much he loves you? At least be safe for him. And there was a silence. You looked at him for answer while he looked away try to change the topic. What you need from the store tell me I will buy for you. I can't tell you. You said looking down and little he understand. He was about to say something but his phone rang. Sir, we need help. Boss is in danger. His eyes meet yours and he stay there silent while you were looking at him confused. But his eyes said something is wrong.